بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين يبلغون رسالات الله ويخشونه ولا يخشون ويخشونه ولا يخشون أحدا إلا وتوكل على الله وكفى بالله وكيلا صدق الله العلي العظيم السلام عليكم and I'd like to welcome you all to the Salam Center groundbreaking ceremony 2014 and Prophet birthday celebration my name is Zainab Rajan and this is Khadija Ghulam Hussain, and we're going to be your MCs for this afternoon. The son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This lay the foundations of Mahfil Ali becoming the well-established multi-ethnic center it is today. We work together as a community to improve the area in which we live and to create a center that will bind the, res the residents of this borough together for generations to come. I'd like to personally thank each and every teacher, parent, family, friend who has helped to make this centre as special as it is. It's, it's a centre to be built by Muslims, funded by the Muslims, but open to everybody. We have facilities for the very young and the very old. It will have a children's centre, purpose-made children's centre. It will have a youth room. It will have a gym, it will have a sports hall, it will have prayer rooms, it will have money interface rooms, it will have conference rooms, it will have a restaurant, it will have a, um, a sports studios, uh, a beauty parlor for women, um, language laboratory, media room, and, and lots more. Salam. It is such a beautiful word. Every Muslim wants to spread Salam. It prepares them for the Quranic Dar es Salaam, the house of peace, paradise. Salaam is beyond peace and protection. Salaam is a smile on your face. Salaam is harmony, tranquility, and feeling good about yourself. I see leaders of faith from all walks of life. I see scholars religious authorities and even politicians and representatives from the police and ladies, men and women all gathering here to celebrate the groundbreaking of this center that we pray to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us all to accomplish that with very important philosophical uh, objectives of Islam that to promote education and we know that the very first surah and verse was revealed to the Prophet of Islam whom we are celebrating his birth today was to recite, to teach, to educate. In Surah Rahman which is the chapter of mercy. It starts with the one who taught, the one who promoted teaching and using pen and ability to express yourself are the greatest values of Islam. Now, it is not only education, it is to give the bright picture of Islam. We hope to show the brightness of Islam the great values of Islam, the broad-mindedness of Islam. How mercy to all, because the Prophet of Islam in the Quran was described to be وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have only sent you as a mercy to the whole universe. It is not only for Muslims. The broad-mindedness in the teachings of Islam but evidence in every single of words and actions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then, 
not only education, the spiritual enhancement, the spiritual values, the merits, the best of conduct, to get over your own ill desires and to be able to control your anger, this selfishness and self sufferingness community leaders, brothers and sisters. It's with great pleasure that I come here today to represent Harrow and to come here today to share in this beautiful thing, which is the beginning of a community center, which from what we understand will be open to all of us. So thank you very much for that. In the process, as you can see from the um, provisions and the decor of today, We've become experts at temporary accommodation. So I do not know how we will adjust to becoming a permanent center. It is a multi-purpose center, uh, which has got facilities for a range of activities. A seat of shared ideals and passions. For the better society, we all aspire to fashion. A place to learn, to be challenged, to breathe, a flourishing of ideas, growth, the sowing of seeds. A place to dream, to realize, to understand, to heed. A chance to be inspired, regardless of religion, race, or creed. This is an honor for us to have a center after the name of God. Ya Rasul Salam Alaika Ya Habib Salam Alaika Salawatullahi Alaika Ya Nabi Salam To work together in every way that we can to serve our community here. Your clearly and emphatically stated intentions to do just that promise very good things for this London suburb of ours. The Sharia and these people, they go there and uh, in Masjid, Aero Masjid, and they supported us. And now on this day, on behalf of my community as the Imam, inshallah, we support you. I would like to thank you for your kind invitation to this um, event for, for Harrow Interfaith Council. I would like to congratulate your community on the design of this magnificent centre and wish you every success with the speedy completion of this project with its state-of-the-art facilities. Everyone to just look around. 
What an amazing day today has been. People from all faiths, creeds, backgrounds, all sitting side by side. Imagine what we can learn from each other. Imagine the potential <coughs> that the Salam Center can bring to this small borough. I'd like to extend a special thanks to the Mayor of Harrow, the three community leaders, Ayatollah Sayyid Fadl Milani and Sheikh Bahman Khor for, for helping us make this event a success. <laughs> Bill for